the Sky Portal 2.1. I've been asked several times now to review this, and so here it is. The Sky Portal 2.1 is Chroma's latest sad lamp. Unlike most sad lamps, this one was created specifically for office desk use. It comes with a height adjustable mounting pole that clamps down onto your desk and the lamp head itself can swivel up and down. This allows you to set it up to project light down at you, similar to what you can do with the Carex Elite, which is what I love the most about that lamp. To me, light coming from above just feels so much better to the eye, and I also like that this allows you to clear up desk space. Now, an issue I ran into is that the included pole didn't quite make it over my monitor, and I really wanted to put the Sky Portal where I have my Carex Elite. Thankfully, the Sky Portal uses a standard spigot clamp for its mounting, which means it was pretty easy for me to devise a way to attach it to my oversized monitor mounting pole. To do this, I just had to buy a clamp mount and a spigot adapter. All you have to do is attach the spigot to the clamp and then the clamp to the pole. And voila, now you can attach the Sky Portal to the pole. The finished look is much cleaner and aesthetically pleasing, and it only cost me about 20 bucks in parts. If you decide to buy the Sky Portal or you already own one and you want to try this clamp method, I'll have parts in the description below. So how does the Sky Portal work? The controls are on the back, which allows you to turn the lamp off and on and allows you to change the brightness or photons, changing between the all amber or white light modes or anything in between. These worked fine, but the controls being on the back made using the lamp a little annoying sometimes. Chroma, if you're watching future versions, I'd love the controls to be more easily accessible. Now let's jump into our test results, starting with the Lux measurements and spectral analysis. Testing is done for one hour at 12 inches, giving me a good average measurement, and it also allows me to compare this lamp to all of the other lamps we've tested. As you can see here, the total light output is actually a little bit lower than I expected, maxing out at around 5,300 lux total. For comparison, the Carex Elite measured at 12,400 lux at 12 inches. Still, it's not terribly low, and the area to lux ratio is quite good on this lamp, making it very visually comfortable to use for long periods of time, even at its max brightness. Lux isn't all there is to it, though there are more accurate measurements we can use to look at circadian stimulus. Let's take a closer look at the Sky Portal's white spectrum to discuss this. This comes in at around 7400 Kelvin, which is definitely on the bluer end. It's also missing the usual 450 nanometer blue pump we see in common sad lamp spectrums, and instead includes two others at 420 and 475 nanometers. This is because the Sky Portal is designed to work with the blue spike already present in your monitor, and instead includes some other non-visual stimulating peaks. Chroma cites this paper as the reasoning behind their choices, and it's sound. 480 nanometers is right around the peak wavelength for circadian stimulation. So while the Sky Portal is peaking at around 480, you'll notice that the Carex Elite is almost the exact opposite. 480 is exactly where it is lacking the most. But now let's take a look at circadian light. Here you can see that the Carex's CLA comes in at 14,200, while the Sky Portal is coming in at 11,500. So the sheer power of the Carex Elite still has it coming out on top, but these numbers show you that the race is a bit closer than Lux alone makes it appear. Now the benefits of the 420 nanometer peak are not as obvious or well studied. As far as I'm aware, this is for targeting OPN5 or neuropsin, which may help play a role in circadian photoentrainment and or serotonin pathways and mood regulation. It's worth noting that some other sad lamps, like the Soulshine, which I reviewed here, also include this part of the visible spectrum. But you will not find this violet light in more traditional sad lamps like the Carex Elite, which brings me to my monitor test. I placed my spectrometer at eye level in front of my monitor and took readings with and without the sky portal and my monitor to show you how these radiation patterns work together. Here you can see the RGB spectrum for my monitor shown in red, which is not as bright as the Sky Portal spectrum shown in blue. So to bring it home, this is what the Sky Portal spectrum looks like by itself, and this is what it looks like paired with a monitor. Overall, I think it's a great purposeful design choice and pretty interesting. 
Now, of course, I also tested the amber light mode, which is actually mostly red light peaking at 665 nanometers on my mod. This is nice, I think, because red light can be a little oppressive. It just nothing has any color to it, and a lot of people don't like that. This gives you a little bit of green and yellow. I think it has a cozier vibe to it than red, personally, and I'm glad they went with this. At first, I wasn't so sure about the amber mode. It seemed kind of pointless, especially if your main reason for buying this is to wake you up. But after using the lamp in my daily practices, I actually really appreciated it for those late night evening computer sessions that I sometimes have. I run Flux and Lunar on my MacBook, so my monitors are very dim and warm at night, but I found that using the amber light from the sky portal just helps to give the room itself a nice warm glow and really cuts down on eye fatigue and glare from my monitor. Okay, last but not least, Chroma claims that the sky portal is flicker free, and I'm very happy to report that it is. At 100% brightness, there is zero flicker whatsoever. Once dimmed, there is a little bit of high frequency choppiness, but it's really nothing that I'm concerned about. I'd still consider this pretty flicker free. In closing, the Sky Portal 2.1 is a sad lamp specifically designed for screen users. Its thoughtfully tuned spectrum and flicker free performance make it a great choice for people who spend long periods of time in front of their computer and want, you know, nicer, healthier light. That said, it's not the brightest lamp out there and the build quality feels a little less premium than I would have liked for the price. The rear mounted controls can also be a bit inconvenient, but besides that, it's really nice to have all of these features packed into one lamp, especially the mountability. I love being able to mount a sad lamp over my monitor, love that. So if you guys are interested in checking out this lamp, there are links down below that you can use. I get a commission if you buy one. And if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button and I will see you next time. Bye.